Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am truly excited because we are going over the best deep fried buffalo chicken balls ever, y'all. And on this channel, the food is always the star. Y'all ready to get going? Now. This is my wife's recipe, and first things first, she asked that this chicken be pan-seared and roasted in the oven. Now, second thing is that we shred this chicken while it's hot, because when it cools down too much, it gets firm. So we let it cool a touch, and then we shred it with a fork, and then we let it cool the rest of the way. Now, they ain't paying us to buy a particular brand of chips, so flaming Hot is all that matters, y'all. Now, get your flaming Hots, put them in your blender, Hit the button. Let it go, y'all. Now, you might have to tap the sides of it to get that to fall back down as it blends, but you will have to pull off the top, get your spatula, rub those sides, and commence to blend again. And it should look like that when you finish, y'all. Now, I blend it extra because I like extra, y'all. Now, here is our pan seared roasted chicken that we've shredded. It has jalapenos that are fresh in it fresh bell peppers, and fresh green onions out the garden, y'all. Now, add whatever flavor agents you like to your dish, y'all. It's according to your taste buds, but this has Montreal chicken season in it. It has paprika in it. It has cumin in it. Now, that's the star. The Louisiana sauce is the co-star. This buffalo sauce makes this dish we really didn't need to add the louisiana but if you've never seen buffalo sauce made from scratch go watch how we made our buffalo wings y'all and then you'll see how simple it is to make your own buffalo sauce but in the meantime grab you a bottle of buffalo sauce whatever brand you like because you paying for it they not paying you for it you paying for it and then mix it well y'all mix it in with your chicken Get it going. That's the first phase. And then we want to put some fresh cheese in, y'all. Fresh cheddar cheese. Fresh Colby Jack cheese. Fresh pepper jack cheese, y'all. Because fresh over already shredded bag cheese. Bag cheese. And next time you buy a bag of bag cheese, look at it. Look at it close. You will see all that white on it, y'all. That cheese is dried out. That's why. But when you have fresh cheese, it holds for you, y'all, and it melts great. And you saw me put cornstarch in there. Now, cornstarch acts as a phenomenal binder, y'all. So what we want to do is get that cornstarch mixed in. And when we get that cornstarch mixed in good, we can see whatever product we put that cornstarch in, it will start to firm up a little bit. And that's how we know we are ready for the next phase, which is roll out. And we're going to roll these buffalo chicken balls out. These buffalo chicken cheesy balls, y'all. We're going to roll them out. And they are going to be good. Now, after we roll out these buffalo cheesy chicken balls, we're going to want to put them on a sheet tray. And after we put them on a sheet tray, we're going to want to put these buffalo chicken cheesy balls in the refrigerator at least for 10 minutes, y'all. Now, we let ours sit for about 25 minutes because we went to attend to our lovely son. And then we came back and we saw it looking just like this. Mm, mm, mm. That means, y'all, these bad boys are about ready to get tossed in the bread y'all and food is entertainment y'all it truly is y'all so we have our panko bread crumbs and our flaming hot dust no flour panko bread crumbs and flaming hot dust because the flaming hot dust acts in place of the flour there is no need for you to add 
that flour into that mix. You don't need it. We're going to put a little bit more of that flaming hot dust that we made in there, y'all. And you can see the color of it already. Now, we know that these buffalo cheesy chicken balls have been cooled down for at least 10, 20 minutes. Ours chilled for 25 minutes. So the longer you let them chill, that gives that cornstarch a bigger and a greater chance to bind everything all up together. And that's why we did it the way we did it, y'all. Uh-huh. You might not have that time, but you need to at least let it sit in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. And then you will see that you are able just to kind of roll that ball around. Just like a kid rolling a ball around on the floor. It's just having so much fun. They don't even have to have anybody with them, y'all. That's what it's all about because food is entertainment, y'all. Take your time with the process, though, and enjoy the process, no matter how your day was, y'all, forget about it. We moving forward and we are trying to be entertained and we are trying to have fun, y'all. That's what it's all about. So we see the cornstarch is truly doing its job. We are taking our time and we're able to coat this and we did not put this in an egg wash. Notice this has no egg wash in the mix at all, right? We didn't use any egg wash. The first thing we went to was our breading. And again, do not forget the step of the cornstarch. That's important. Now, we're moving on to the egg wash. Now, in the egg wash, take your time, and you should be able to roll the ball around because it's almost in a full circumference. So you should be able to roll that ball around and drop it back in to the bread mix, y'all. That breading, mm, drop it back in there. And look how it holds. So now we know we have a double crunch effect going on here, y'all. Take a look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. So we're going to go through that process. We're going to repeat the process. Roll it around. We're going to toss it into our flour again. We have a double crunch. Now, if you don't want the double crunch, go ahead and put in your egg wash first, y'all. And then... Roll it into your flaming hot flour or your traditional flour. We're going to go ahead and repeat this process. Now, this is just flour and panko. Notice panko is the theme here. Flour was substituted with flaming hot the first go around. Now, we want to repeat this process because remember, redundancy is rewarded, which is so true. You do a good job continuously. And continuously, you will get a reward. You will seek and you will find that reward. And it's the same when it comes to culinary arts. I'm a chef. I do this daily. So if I learn the best method and I repeat that best method, then it will come out the best way for the guest, for the client, every single time for the family, for my own self. Because we have to learn how to put our own selves as individuals first. Yes, we do. Now, we're going to the egg wash, y'all. And when you deal with the flour and the panko mix in egg wash, it can be deceiving. It can look like, man, is the flour, panko still on it? I don't, I don't know. Keep your faith. Hold on, because it's on there. It's holding on there. It's holding on there. It just doesn't seem as if it is. So when you get ready to toss it into your flour and your panko mix again, then you'll see, oh, okay. And then you'll be able to feel it. And you'll be like, okay. And so you'll see that, yes, I did it right. Yes, you did. You didn't do it wrong. You didn't do it wrong at all. And that's what this is all about, going through the process, trying different things out, experimenting. Having fun, y'all. I love to have fun with my family. And y'all are my family. And I really, really appreciate y'all. Yes, I do. Let's get it going, y'all. Let's roll it out. Repeat the process. Make sure it's coated. And now during this moment in time right here, I have the oil on low heat. Because I know I am near 
finished breading all of this. And now it's on high heat, y'all. And we got it going. Now, make sure you monitor your temperature with your oil. Now, once your temperature reaches a certain degree, you should know that it's boiling. You don't want to be frying your food at 500 degrees, y'all. You don't want your oil to be smoky. If you're working with an electric burner, a good temperature for you to have your oil set on in the beginning, before you start frying, is low. Give your oil a chance to heat up slow. You don't have to burn your oil. Heat it up low and slow. And then by the time you get ready to fry your food, if you're working on an electric burner, it should be at around five or six. And then you should be able to adjust it here and there from that level. If you are working on a gas and you don't have a temp gauge, most people don't have a temp gauge. Everyone does not have a thermometer. If you're working on gas, make sure you start off low and stay pretty low. Don't let it get to seven, eight. Keep it low. All right. Now we want to repeat that process too with our traditional classic balls, y'all. All right. Now I dropped these in backwards, actually. So since I dropped them in backwards, how are they going to come out? Will they be pink? Are they going to have a red hue to them? Oh, man. I don't know how my wife's going to think about that one there. Because I was supposed to put the flaming Hots in last. But I got caught up in all that color. And I was in a color trance. And I dropped them in there, y'all. So I don't know. Let's watch this together to see how they're going to come out. Like, I'm really watching with you. I need to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Ah, mmm. They look, they look good to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that lets you know. Yes, you can drop your flaming Hots in there first. And you can use the same oil. Mmm, mmm. That looks pretty tasty. Yeah. That's what it's all about, y'all. This right here. It's all about having fun. I mean, because... That look good now. I want some more of it. What's that in the background? Oh, well, we cutting it open for you too, okay. You see that coating? You see that coating? You see that coating? It stay, y'all. It stay. Look how thick that coating. Cheesy. Cheesy. Buffalo cheesy. Cheesy. You see tap, tap, tap. That's how you know. Oh. 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 Cheese sauce on the flaming Hot. Y'all, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Let us know if you feel like it's something we miss so we can add it to the playlist. We're trying to be in your up next section, in your browser, y'all. Thank you for your time, and we'll see y'all on the next side.